ori nkan ti baba yen se to ba ya wa ni fe ni kalo ni bi ti abade yi violence ni ka jo ma fi gbe omo lile omo wiri eh ka tanga sasala ko ni baje fun o kan eh ki bere ala bobo ki da gbere ko to fi lule samu o ma jari wo jari he said earlier on that you used to have the mindset that you can't be a second wife third wife so that but it has changed what what was that no 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 i'm listen i'm after one if I see after one like me too, <laughs> you it's fair. If I see maybe a blessed memory, <laughs> widow, it will go. That, at that point, I'll be widower. Keep talk, talk, and if talk, I see talk. someone that, ah, maybe the wife who is just, uh, let me be going no, he wants me to come and train the wife. That mommy, wife. Ah, and my just like you did in Ija. Everything in life, she'll, she'll be happy. This was the video that got people talking it last year about me to Riola. Some were like, oh, she's a Yoruba actress. They don't have levels. So because she has failed in marriage now, she wants to ruin other people's marriage. They don't have the mind of their own. But do many people realize how intelligent a person and how good an actress she is? Do you know she has a diploma in law and she also holds a master degree? This begs us to ask the question, who is Umi Doriola? No one in board meeting me, Amy Denny Mokere Jr. I want to join she meeting. Yeah, I'm going to miss call, but I'm going to miss meeting on it. No, Uncle Mike Lope. I mean Mike Adenuga. I'm to realize a Nigerian actress and film producer who appears mostly in the Yoruba genre of the movie industry. She's a native of Abiokuta in Ogun State, but was born in Lagos, Nigeria on July 11, 1988. She attended Providence Primary and Secondary School in Lagos. Then she enrolled in Lagos State University for a diploma certificate in law. Afterwards, she studied at the University of Illinois, Kwara State, where she obtained a bachelor's degree in linguistics. Umi was part of a Yoruba theater art organization called Odun Fakakos. In 2009, she obtained a diploma in theater art from the organization. She also attended a fashion school in 2017 where she got the idea of owning her own fashion store, WT Signature. Oni mo ma koko se gbogbo nkan te nse yi. O kun yato si ra won ni. Emi de gbe se ri mi mo ni hems. Mo ni bi ti mo nlo. Te yin ko ba ri bi ti mo nlo at the long run. E ma wo pe file. Omo yo so be owi be. Nje mo risi ta se ni television no le wa. Good. Need to read the money vision. And it's about any vision. Who can watch television? Umi has been in the Nigerian film industry for 14 years. She got her first professional acting role in Ishashi Lagwa, a Yoruba movie produced by Tawa Ajishifini in 2009. After which she featured in the movie Iwakiwa, which brought her to the limelight. Other Yoruba and English movies she has featured in include Ashewu, Kongwaso, my twin, Battle on Booker Street, Alakada Reloaded, among others. In 2017, she starred with Gabriel Folayon, Aisha Lawa, Olwela Dimola, and other non-Lewood stars in First Flag, a movie with a message on living inclusively with HIV and AIDS patients. That same year, she played a role in one of the highest grossing Nigerian movies of 2017, Alakada Reloaded, produced by Tony Abraham. Wumi featured alongside Funke Akindele, Mercy Johnson, Shola Shobo Ali, Tinamba, and in Kemowo, in Battle on Booker Street, a 2022 film where she played a supporting role as one of Yedide's friends. In 2015, she produced her first movie titled Ajewumi. Since then, she has produced several others, including Obiri, My Twin, Shugnokon, Omo Beta, My Past, Ayo Ife, among others. Apart from acting and producing movies, Umi also runs multiple businesses. She owns a skincare line, hair brand, as well as a fashion store. Under the name WT Signature. Person, any egg? Wah, so my poor girl, my baby, she will learn. She tell me I'm a musician. Can I share gongo and what I'm on calling? Are you a fair budget? Mama, mama, love me. Ma, I share music. Ma, I share lorry. I share. Due to her outspoken personality and constant reply to trolls, Umi Toriola is not far from controversies. In fact, she was just rumored to have an affair with Kola Ole Ajayemi, husband to Tony Abraham. But she labelled the rumour as devilish and a lie from the pit of hell. People seem to take her as the same toxic and not added character she plays in movies, which according to her is a different and misleading trait to her personality beyond the screen. She was accused of beating her own biological mother while she was married, but Wumi lost her mother at the tender age of nine. Wumi got married to a US-based Nigerian on May 13, 2018, and they had their first child named Zion on October 14, 2019. Four years later, Wumi and her husband separated, 
and she announced it on social media in January 2023 that her marriage was over. The reason, according to Wumi, was because her husband do threaten her with her fame anytime they have issues. And before it turns to a bigger topic on social media, she had to leave. And since then, nothing has been known about Wumi's relationship status as everything has been kept private from the social circle. She says she's only focused on her career, child and brand for now. And she's always minding her business. She's one of the few Yoruba actresses who has passionate their fans, which means some refers to her as the violence escorters, as her fans sometimes can be altered and are ready to go to to against anyone who is not on terms with her. Whether you like her or not, Wumi is steadily securing her legacy as one of the most talented and versatile actresses in Nollywood. And it's only a matter of time before she's mentioned in the League of Nollywood Yoruba Legends.